But I would check in with my husband, the love of my life. We've been together now for 12 years. Thank you. Hi, love, are you there? I'm here. Hi, honey, I miss you. It's so nice to hear your you voice. Too. Aw. So, so can you tell everyone how we rekindle our spark? Yeah, we spend time every evening together, whether it be eating dinner or watching a movie together and uh, going out on dates. And, of course, you know, a healthy uh, sex life doesn't hurt either. Oh, honey, <laughs> it's true. It's No, it's true. And I love that we started making time for each other. Like, every night you make me shut my computer and come cuddle with you, and that's my favorite part of the day. So thank you. I love you. I miss you. And here's to the next 12 years, another great 12 years with you. You're the best. Thank love you for you. joining me. Too. So whether you've been together, for 12 months or 12 years, go out there and rekindle the spark in your love life. I'm Juliana Hever, and that's what I would do. Now, it's up to you. Hi, I'm Jeff Halvey. Today's all about you, weekend warriors. You know who you are, people who try to squeeze in a week's worth of fitness into a weekend and end up overdoing it. It's the do's and don'ts of weekend warriors today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. We gotta live it. We're taking on weekend warriors today. People who sit at a desk all week and then it's hardcore sports all weekend. Too often they end up playing and paying with strains, sprains, and other injuries. But there are ways to avoid that. Here to find out how is weekend warrior Colin. Welcome, Thank Colin. Thank you. So you are a weekend warrior. Yes, I am a weekend warrior, yeah. What, what, so what is it usually like? What sports are we hitting on the weekend? So the weekend, um, I'm in a volleyball league. So that, you know, I have that designated time to kind of get my week's aggressions out and <laughs> be competitive. Is that, is that hitting, the, it's hitting the ball, oh, yeah. diving, oh, jumping? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty tough on the body. Yeah, it, it is. And it's, um, you know, even just doing warm-ups, you're like, oh, man, I'm already exhausted. <laughs> So you get on the court and you just gotta like find that extra bit of energy. Right. Um, it, but it's great. It's it's really it's an awesome workout and it's a great like team environment. Right. Yeah. So I don't want to discourage the weekend activity. That's mm -hmm. obviously phenomenal and mm -hmm. volleyball is like a great sport to play. Yeah. The one thing you have to remember though is if you're going to do athletic things, mm -hmm. just like an athlete would, you need to train like an athlete too. Right. All right. right. Yeah. Now I'm gonna show you a few exercises that will help better prep your body. So even if you can sneak out like 10 minutes of doing what we do here during the week, uh -huh. you'll be better prepared to avoid injury, maybe even enhance performance a little bit okay and that would be great my so, team would appreciate that I'm sure yeah. your team would so I'm gonna uh, move us along to the first okay. exercise that we have here so the first exercise we have is we, we set up actually a, a deadlift okay. with the cash and you know what a deadlift is yes. we're having done them in a gym before yeah okay yeah so we're going to just use the cash so just in case you can't leave the living room right okay there's no excuse there is now there's really no excuse. get off the couch now the it. way that we rig this and I'm gonna show you two different versions too uh -huh. And the way that we rig this is really simple. We just have some nylon rope okay. that's tied around the base of the couch. Okay. And we're going to use this for a deadlift. So what I'd like you to do is just wrap the rope around your hands a few times. Okay? And obviously you've done a deadlift before because you're already getting into position. Right. You know where we're going with right. this, right? And just go ahead and shove your bottom back a little more, chin down a little bit, and you're gonna go ahead and lift the couch. Just like that. All right. Back down. Good. And you can let the arms relax. If the couch gets oh. pulled towards you a little bit, yeah, you want to make sure you keep that tight. Okay. But I just mean you don't have to hold it out. Right. If the couch gets, couch gets pulled a little towards you, that's okay. And back down. Good. Let's do one more rep, and then I'm going to show you a more advanced version of this. Okay, hips back. Now, the more advanced version is going to a single arm. So what we're going to do is put these together. Okay. Grab it in the middle. Nice right. tight grip. Go ahead. All right. You're up. Okay, you want to go overhand with this. Oh, okay. All right, just like that. Get it nice and close. Okay. Arch your back, pull your chest up, and you're gonna lift that sucker with Ooh. one hand. 
There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right That's back a workout. Up. We don't have to do too many reps That's with that <laughs> because we do have other exercises we're going to do. All right. All right. So coming up next, uh, we have a uh, – it's really like, you know, we couldn't get more warrior than this. Right. All right? And we're going to be doing a, uh, a warrior lunge with a chop. So what I'd like you to do – and the reason, by the way, that this is so important mm -hmm. is because when you play sports, most sports don't happen – in what's called the sagittal plane, meaning like the body split in half right. down the middle. Most exercises are like that though. So right. like a bench press, a shoulder press, right. pull-ups, everything occurs like that. We wanna get a lot of rotational movements into. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna work the core, this is going to work your lower body as well. It's gonna help you with balance, okay. agility, everything. Cool. And power, who doesn't mm -hmm. wanna be more powerful? Sure. You're gonna start off like this, mm -hmm. okay? And as you lunge forward, you're gonna pick it up and it's like we're chopping our enemy down. So it's gonna look like this. A chop, a nice deliberate movement, bring it, bring it back, and a big chop down and back, okay? All right. So why don't you go ahead and give it a whirl yourself. Okay. Okay, so let's chop down, good. Big chop, that's it. All hey, right. and really try to get some power into it. Bring okay. it up, kind of wind up a little bit. You won't hit me. Okay. okay. All <laughs> right. Ahead. I promise. Wind up a little and chop down. That's it. Now to the other side, wind up, chop down. So we're working power. Like I said before, obviously the arms are getting a workout. Yeah. Core is getting a workout. Really everything is getting worked. And mm -hmm. of course with the deadlift, which I refer to as the king of all exercises, mm -hmm. we work nearly every muscle in the body. So that's mm -hmm. why it's also a great time effective strategy when mm -hmm. you're trying to prep your body for weekend activity, especially a rigorous sport like volleyball, where yeah. you have to you know, constantly be moving around. All right. Cool. I'm going to set this aside. Now we have a good old friend, the medicine ball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm familiar. Now, I hope you're ready for a dose of medicine. Sure. Because we have an exercise coming up that I think is about as primal and as warrior as it gets okay. and will help prep you as a weekend warrior too. So this is going to be a medicine ball slam and sprawl. So we're slamming and sprawling. Now, the slam part, I mean, that's pretty Cro-Magnon, sure, right? Sure, yeah. That comes <laughs> now, naturally. the sprawl part actually comes from wrestling. So in wrestling or even in you know mixed martial arts like we have these days, when a person shoots, they're trying to grab your hips because mm -hmm. they can control your body. So I spent years just you know spending time sprawling, and it looks kind of like this. I'm going to have you back up just an inch, okay. all right? So when someone shoots for the hips, you kind of kick back. And you have to be able to get up, you know, right. you know, back and up really quickly to keep your hips away. Okay. We're going to be doing that movement mm -hmm. with the added medicine ball slam in there too, okay? okay? Cool. So when you actually do it, it you, I don't want you to let go of the ball because sometimes medicine, medicine ball slams, you let go of the ball. I want you to right. pick it up over your head. We're going to slam down as hard as we can, mm -hmm. kick the legs out. That's mm -hmm. our sprawl. Bring it back in, back up, and back into it, all okay. right? Why don't you give it a try, Colin? All right. All right, I want to see big slams. All right. All right, take one step forward just to make sure you don't hit the couch, mm -hmm. and let's see it. Good. Now, come, come back up and stop for a moment. Okay. You want to take it one step further? Let's do it. All right. So one step further is at the top, we're going to add a burpee. So you're actually going to jump up with the ball. Okay. Come back down, slam it hard, and do, go for it. All right. Ready? All right. So start with the jump or end with the jump? You're going to end with the jump. Got so it. So start okay. with the slam. Okay. That's it. Out. Bring it in. Jump. Slam back down. There you go. That's it, Colin. Colin, I want you to keep that up. Keep moving. I don't want you stopping. You did an excellent job. Thank you so much. Coming up next, the foods of ancient warriors just might be right for you. And later on, what makes a weekend warrior tick? Come on, pick up. So frazzled becomes so calm. So down becomes so happy. So tired, become so rejuvenated. Go from feeling so-so to so good with Varia Self-Optimize Supplements made with powerful organic herbs and 5,000 years of Ayurveda healing wisdom. Discover the entire line at variaso.com. Varia Self-Optimize, go well. If you've got acne, you're probably battling more than just pimples. I get brown marks, discoloration from previous breakouts. My skin has had sun damage. Every breakout that I ever had would leave a mark. It was horrible. That's why Proactive developed our groundbreaking dark spot corrector to help lighten sunspots, age spots, and the marks that acne can leave behind. The dark spot corrector is designed to work seamlessly with our three-step system, and it's become one of our best-selling products ever because it works. 
it just made a huge difference on even sunspots that I had. The spots around my cheek area and on my chin have started to fade away. I was noticing that my age spots were starting to diminish. I can just apply it and I know that after a week or so that dark spot is gone. Today's the day for you to try the dark spot corrector because today Proactive is offering one of our best deals ever. Call right now and we'll send you America's number one acne fighting system for just $19.95. And we'll include our amazing dark spot corrector free. That's right, you'll get one of our most effective and luxurious products, a $22 value at no cost to you because we want you to see just how great your skin can look. I've told everybody about Proactive. It makes my skin look flawless. Call now and get the three-step system plus the dark spot corrector. We'll even include two more extras. That's an $82 value for just $19.95. And now get started even faster with Proactive next day so you can get Proactive shipped overnight and start clearing up even sooner. People ask me, what are you doing to your skin that's different? I'm like, you have to try this. Call 1-800-772-7167. And don't forget to ask about Proactive next day. That's 1-800-772-7167. Don't settle for bad skin. Do something about it with Proactive. On the next Yogi Cameron, a model guru. I suffer from dermatomyositis, which is a skin and muscle inflammation. Do you think you're a disciplined person? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to master sun salutations yoga is a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Welcome to your new drugstore. We treat skin diseases through the stomach. Eat it. <laughs> I need water. <sighs> Lightweights. Yogi Cameron, a model guru, Sundays at 9 p.m. on Varia Living. Curious about natural healing? Then jump into the conversation on Varia Living's Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash Wellness. The all-new VariaLiving.com is your home on the web for health and wellness, including tips from our experts and lots and lots of video. There's something else out there that you can do to heal yourself. The all-new VariaLiving.com. Go well. We're talking about weekend warriors, and there's a new trend in food, eating like the Aztec warriors. Here to tell us how we can achieve the astounding fitness and energy levels of this mighty civilization is author of the Aztec diet, Dr. Bob Arnott. Welcome, Bob. Hey, it's great to be here. You look like an Aztec. We're gonna have to get you an Aztec name. I, you know, I don't even know what an Aztec looks like. I don't have any frame of reference. I don't have any face paint on. So, but but I'm, I'm very, I'm intrigued, uh, quite honestly, about um, about this Aztec diet. When did you become aware of the Aztec diet? So you know, like you, people always say, hey, try this, and you go, yeah, sure. So this friend of mine left this kind of foiled package in the back of my Ducati racing bike. In the that middle usually of will get you arrested, by the way, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it sits there, there's snow, and she calls me weak, and I say, yeah, fine, I'll look at it. And I look at it, I go, five grams of fiber and 70 calories, that seems impossible. And I looked at the other ingredients, I said, that's amazing. So, you know, I started to try it, mm -hmm. and, you know, I had been at about 203 pounds and tried everything. I mean, for bike racing season, I want to be a 190, and I right. mean, I tried starving myself and doing like five-hour rides, away. nothing. I could never, ever, ever break 200. And with the Chia, 199. So that was what was in the in the foil package? It was Chia. Okay. It was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, you left, you me, look, you left you me, look. me hanging. I was waiting to hear <laughs> what was in the foil That's package. It's the punchline. You look, by the way, you look like an Aztec. The Aztecs look like you. They were strong. They were the strongest people in the world at the time, the most successful people uh -huh. in the world at the time. They had bigger cities than they had in Spain. They lived 12 years longer than anybody else in the world. And it was all because they had these amazing, amazing grains, chia being the top of them. So is chia considered, you know, we refer to miracle foods these days. Is chia considered a miracle food in your opinion? Well, it really is because of its properties. The big thing that it does more than anything else is it really fills you up. I mean, it really is. You know how if you're you're trying to make weight. Well, you said how much fiber w was in it? Five grams and 70 calories. Right, it's yeah. Almost, so five grams of fiber is, is, is a decent serving, but fiber definitely keeps you full. So it keeps you full. But the other thing that's so interesting about it is that it, it it makes what we call this mucilaginous gel. It's just techno for You put this in a cup of water, it's gonna expand seven times its size. You put that in the stomach, it's gonna expand. In fact, one of the cover stories on the diet said, better than lap band surgery. And, and it is, because you're so I gotta full. I gotta tell you though, so, so, so this is chia that we, that we have over here. Now, is this something that we cook or, or I, 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 do I just 
watch TV and, 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 and pick at the chia? So it's, <laughs> such, it's such a good question because as opposed to any other kind of food, it's an ingredient as opposed to something you just eat. Okay. So you put it in smoothies, you can bake it with salmon, you can put it on your cereals, you can put it on your yogurt, but it is an ingredient, mm -hmm. which is why it's just beginning to gain popularity. So here's a tough one. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> if the Aztecs were so amazing and Chia was so amazing, why did the Aztecs disappear? Gunpowder. Okay. <laughs> no, but there are a couple, a couple reasons. So first of all, the Spaniards figured this out. They would go, the, the, the Aztecs would go out for two weeks and fight them, and they were incredible fighters. And then they go, well, why are they doing so well? Chia. So they burned the chia fields to the ground. Mm -hmm. They destroyed they took their, away their food of, source. Took away their food source. And of course, they did have gunpowder, and they also brought in lots of infectious diseases from Europe. <laughs> that, that'll that'll hurt any civilization. <laughs> it'll hurt anybody. Now, even more importantly, the Aztecs ate chia, but did they keep it as a pet as well? <laughs> or you is know, that something that's just new? <laughs> this is going to be in the Aztec diet, volume two. We're volume keep two. It for that. <laughs> So uh, what other foods did the Aztecs eat? I mean, they couldn't have just, because you said this is an ingredient. This is not all that you eat. Right. What else did they eat that, that made them so healthy and, so, and vibrant? So it's such a good point. I mean, the chia they would use to go and fight with, mm -hmm. and they would actually mix it up into a paste. But I mean, they, they had turkey, they had amaranth, they had quinoa. The thing is, is that Tenochtitlan, their capital, they grew better foods. They had better soil than any place else on Earth earth mm -hmm. so that the quinoa and the amaranth and quinoa and every horticulturist from all over the hemisphere came into this this is like the prize city so the very very best stuff mm -hmm. but a lot of it's like you know thanksgiving meal i mean you know having a little s sweet potato right. and, and um, turkey Re and what real food certainly not any food that comes in a box a bag no, or, no it's you know. all real food all <laughs> real, real food real stuff so in your opinion what is our our greatest food enemy right now well, I call it the car bomb. That is, people who diet are smart. They know they're not gonna have fats, they stay away from candy, they stay away from soft drinks, mm -hmm. by and large. But what they're doing is they're eating these complex carbohydrates that they think are good. Mm -hmm. You add those up, you add up spaghetti, bagel, toast, you know, to 10 or 11 servings of that, you have a glucose load, and that's mm -hmm. the key new term, of 320. It should be 50. Mm -hmm. You're at 320, you want to be at 50. Sure. So avoid the car bombs, because that's what will kill you. And what are the bombs away foods? Well, I mean, you know what, New York City, get up in the morning, go to Starbucks, anything that has white flour in it. I mean, right. if, if you have a, go and get a bagel. Go, and even things like rice cakes that are dyed. But a bagel with a schmear, how, how can you be in New York and not have a bagel with a schmear? Right? I mean, that's as New York as you get. But it is. But you're going to look like a New Yorker with a big pot belly. <laughs> but it, but it, it, it really isn't as, as benign as it seems because that, well, I think what most people, and you and I would agree about this, is that most people don't realize there's no difference between eating that bagel chemically in your body than feeding yourself sugar. The same thing is going to happen in terms of your insulin response. So you end up in the very same place. And it's even worse because the sugar, you have a tablespoonful, you go, oh yeah. The bagel, you have one, two, three, you keep going because yeah. there isn't that alarm that says it's a sugar. So we tend to overeat these car bombs like crazy. And that gives us this huge glucose load and staggering amounts of inflammation, which is why we feel so terrible. You're right on the money. Excellent. Bob, thank you so much. <laughs> you. Fantastic. You're very welcome. We'll be right back. Um, the It's a day filled with magic potions. You lay it on your face and that helps to pull out some of the toxins. And sultry emotions. Let's oil the body. Indulge in 12 hours of the hottest health advice just for mom, all Mother's Day long, only on Berea Living. This is the computer ICU. It's what happens to your computer when it gets infected, slows down, and crashes. And if you don't do something, your computer could wind up here in the computer graveyard. But it could be saved with MyCleanPC.com. Is your computer running slow? Are you frustrated with error messages, blue screens, computer freezes, and crashes? Then go to MyCleanPC.com for your free diagnosis today. Then just activate the MyCleanPC.com software to fix it in minutes and computer specialists are available while you're online. The best thing about MyCleanPC.com was it had a free diagnosis. My computer is 100% faster. You know immediately what the problem is and the problem is solved right then and there. Download your free diagnosis today at MyCleanPC.com.
I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention women Lipitor users. Medical studies have revealed that some women who use Lipitor may be at a greater risk for developing diabetes. If you or a loved one have developed diabetes after taking Lipitor, you may be entitled to money damages. The call center for Kona Malad is available 24-7. Call now, 800-9-HELP-90 or log on to koanamalad.com. You may be entitled to money damages if you develop diabetes after taking Lipitor. Call 800-9-HELP-90 now. I've lost weight so quickly on Atkins. 23 pounds in just six weeks. Oh, yeah. And I did it without starving myself. On Atkins, I can lose weight and eat deliciously. I eat lots of tasty and filling low-carb foods, veggies, fruits, and whole grains. And now Atkins has frozen meals so mouth-watering and satisfying. Try Atkins and lose weight deliciously. Get started now. Call or visit Atkins.com for a free Atkins Quick Start Kit with three free bars. Welcome back. Today we're talking about weekend warriors. You know who you are. You're cramming an entire week's worth of workouts into a weekend. What makes you fall into that pattern in the first place? Here to break down the brain's role in the game is holistic sports psychologist, Dr. Leah Lagos. Welcome, Leah. So nice to be here. So, so tell me, are there certain personality types that are more likely to be weekend warriors? Yes, people who have a perfectionistic tendency in their personality, meaning you want to do everything really, really well. You want to have a great career, a great family, you want to be a great athlete, and you want to do it all at once. So you're constantly fighting time demands. You have a 12-hour work schedule because you're trying to do that perfectly. You're taking your kids to after-school activities and wanting to do that perfectly because that's important to you. And you're pushing off more and more things to the weekend because you're running out of time. So when you get to the weekend, you're trying to even do that perfectly, your weekend workout. Until you, uh, until you said the uh, kids thing, I felt like you were describing me for some reason. <laughs> um, now, my next question then is, you know, are there any problems or shortcomings with having this weekend warrior mentality? The main challenge with this weekend warrior mentality is sustaining preventable injuries. When you go in with this fierce, over-excited mentality of I want to work out and I want to work out as much as possible this weekend, you're actually likely to put yourself at higher risk for injury. Doing maybe too many reps, a little too high intensity, when you really need to slow it down and take it step by step. And one of the things that I see that's very common, especially amongst younger women, it seems like this demographic has mastered the art of doing like, uh, you know, the yoga, you know, like yoga first thing on Saturday morning, mm -hmm. followed up, or maybe it's even like a double yoga, followed mm -hmm. up by a spin class and then like an evening run. It's just like Absolutely. four hours of, it's just, it, it's a little, it, it's a little too much. Uh, does a weekend warrior have an increased uh, level of stress generally? I mean, is that stressful on, uh, aside from on the system? Mm -hmm. I mean, even just psychologically. A lot of times, absolutely, and it's a great point because you have people that are so stressed during the week, they can't make clear time to work out on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Mm -hmm. So they wait till Friday and then they're pushing all of their time into that little tiny spot. And that, as you mentioned, puts more stress on the body. So now you have stress during the week, they're trying to release stress and be really perfect about working out and you're creating more stress in the body. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it sounds to me like you're almost saying that there's like a, an all or nothing component mm -hmm. to all of this. So would you say that they have this all or nothing chip? <laughs> yes, and I think it is so prevalent right now, particularly in the age range you mentioned young 20-something women wanting to do everything perfectly, getting life by uh, by the shoulders and getting right. ahead. And uh -huh. it's such, there's a lot- And there are positive sides to that, right? Yeah. A lot of positives to that. But the problem is a four hour workout and you're not doing it any other time but once during the week or maybe a day and a half during the week, your body's not equipped for it. And there's another aspect of it, which is burnout. Mm -hmm. If you're really focusing on- Overtraining. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, overtraining yourself and pushing away all your other activities during the weekend, hanging out with friends and family and really focusing just on this one exclusive activity, you're actually likely to burn out and not do it as often or for sure. as long. And, and in fact, uh, very interesting mm -hmm. to me is I just read a, a very new uh, research study that conclude, more or less conclusively proves that when it comes to exercise, less is more. Now, this is something that mm -hmm. I've known for a while, you know, not only on, you know, my background is not only in exercise science, but behavioral 
health as well. So I know this, not just from a training perspective, not just from a psychological, psychological perspective, but now they've actually proved that your results are enhanced. And they've done this, you know, in a, in a peer reviewed study, your results are actually better when you do less. And it's for some of those reasons too, like psychological uh, burnout. And is this something that you've seen um, with your with your patients, if you will. Absolutely. The best athletes in the world have routines and they commit to those routines. Even, even if those routines are 20 minutes once a day mm -hmm. and they commit to it and they have an intense focus, but sometimes you go to the gym and you see people that say, oh, I had a three hour workout, but an hour and a half, of that time was on Facebook right. <laughs> in between sets. And it's Chatting not, near the, right. the you know, near the water fountain, watching TV. Yeah, I, I know the And type. it's not quite the same thing. So what you're saying makes a lot of sense, which is small concentrated workouts and then really gradually building yourself up, setting small goals. Maybe it's just 20 minutes, three times a week to regulate stress and building it up in time. Mm -hmm. So what do you recommend mm -hmm. instead of that weekend because people are pressed for time people do have jobs mm -hmm. kids you know a lot of things that are that are that take up a tremendous amount of time and energy resources what do you suggest as an alternative to the weekend warrior mentality integrate it into your lifestyle make this your life instead of your weekend activity so starting with just small short-term goals i want to work out three times during the week 20 minutes three times during the week and be creative. Mm -hmm. Vacuuming and dancing at the same time <laughs> is exercise. So sometimes if you take the stairs and you can't get to the gym, that's okay. But setting clear goals and being creative with your exercise routine so you can do it throughout the week instead of just the weekend. Many of which we've explored on this very show. Thank you so much. Stick around for my weekend warrior warm up. Uh, we This is the place I like to call home, the kitchen. Our compliments to the chef. Cheers. Good Food America host Nathan Lyon has been nominated for a Daytime Emmy. Give me a moment on this one. I'm going to savor this. Good Food America with Nathan Lyon. Saturday nights at 9 on Berea Living. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. You're going to be in a great mood all day because you're going to be slapping your troubles away with the Slap Chop. Now, look, here's a potato. One slap, you got big chunks for stews. Who slaps? Home fries in a second. You add a mushroom. The more you do it, the finer it gets. You don't have to switch any blades. You love salad. You hate making it. Take the stringy celery. Take the carrots. Salad. I love pizza, too, but once in a while, get the veggies in. At least throw it on top of the pizza. This tuna looks boring. Stop having a boring tuna. Stop having a boring life. Here's a hard-boiled egg. One chop. You add the pickle. You add the green onion. And then what you can do, you can mix things together. You can add the ham. You don't have time to make breakfast. You're going to have an exciting life now. Breakfast to go. You're going to love my nuts. Watch this. You can do everything in the cover. It's so easy. One finger. Kids can do it. They're going to charge you a dollar for toppings at the ice cream stores. What about fruit? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful on your ice cream? It's so easy to clean. One, two. And pops open like that, like a butterfly to clean. Now, these other ones that you've seen in the store, you can't clean it. It doesn't open up. Bacteria gets in the food, you don't want bacteria in your food, right guys? Forget about that. Take this slap chop onion with the skin, all right? This is making you cry and making me cry. Life's hard enough as it is, you don't want to cry anymore. The skin's at the bottom. Hey, look, if you want a little bit of onions, you don't want to drag out the food processor, the skin comes right off. We're going to make America skinny again, one slap at a time. When you buy the slap chop, we're going to give you the grady for cheese. White cheese, yellow cheese in the container. Comes with a twister. And watch this, tacos, fettuccine, linguine, martini, bikini. Comes with two blades, just bang it, fine and coarse, parmesan. Comes with a cover, stay sealed. Put it in the fridge, take it out when you need it. The Slap Chop sells for $19.95, and we're going to give you the Grady absolutely free. But if you call now, within the next 20 minutes, because you know we can't do this all day, we'll double the offer. Just pay separate shipping and handling. So that's two sets for $19.95. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-791-6796. Call now to get your second set free. When you call, also ask about our foldable cutting board. Call 1-800-791-6796. That's 1-800-791-6796. Call now. I'm Dominique Dawes, and there's a big advantage parents can give their kids. Making sure they get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life. Welcome back, my weekend warriors. 
Hopefully, I've impacted that weekend warrior mentality just a little bit today, and you've decided to, well, maybe cut back a little bit on the activity, maybe squeezing in a little bit during the week. No, not really. You're still gonna do it. All right, you win, today at least. But if you're going to persist with that weekend warrior mentality, it is vital that you do a weekend warrior warm up. Because one thing I can assure you is that if you dive right into your activity, it's gonna be like diving into a pool that has no water. You will get injured, that much I guarantee. So what do you need to do for your weekend warrior warm up? Well, you need to literally warm your body up. Our natural body temperature is 98.6, as you may know or have, have, have uh, heard before, but it's important to warm the body up to around 99 or 100 degrees. Literally, give yourself a little bit of a temperature. Now, most of you probably think a warm up is bending over and touching your toes. That's called static stretching. And not only does that not warm you up, it may predispose you to injury and impede your performance. This is not my opinion, this is research that has been done. You're much better off with what I call movement prep, movement preparation. And that means if you're going to be using your hamstrings, for instance, and you want to stretch them, do it dynamically. Do some up kicks. If you're going to be throwing a ball, do the shoulder circles. Do anything that will kind of mimic the activity that you're doing. That way you raise your temperature, you actually get the joints moving around, you have uh, fluid inside your joints called synovial fluid, and you want the joint to be lubricated before you start exercising. Weekend Warriors, I'm begging you, please. Ease up on the warrior, be a weekend lover, but if you're gonna do it, at least do it safely. I'm Jeff Halavy, and I'll see you next time on Workout From Within. It's the largest hot desert in the world, as large as the United States, and larger than Australia. And it occupies almost one third of the entire landmass of Africa. Come on, guys, it's easy. Where am I? Hi, and welcome again to Under the Sun, the travel show with a difference that takes you off the beaten track to bring you face to face with people that you may normally never get a chance to meet and to show you how food that's grown gets onto your plates. This week I'm in the mountains of Morocco and I plan to take you on a quick tour of the Berber people and how they farm this magical land. So join me, your host, Nathan Leroy, for some stunning landscapes, some amazing sights on Under the Sun. Harsh, stony, grimly challenging terrain dominates the landscapes. It's September, one of the hottest months, just before the end of summer. In a way, I'm lucky to see the landscape at its dramatic, barren best. The mighty and legendary Atlas Mountains straddle Northern Africa stretching through Morocco, Algeria, and on to Tunisia. Right now I'm in the Anti-Atlas range of the Atlas Mountains. I've read a lot about its lunar landscapes, and I'm beginning to wonder why my guide and translator, Essala, has brought me here. He said he wants me to visit his friend's garden, but I can't imagine that anything can grow on this land. Has he understood what I'm looking for? And then suddenly, there's a change in the landscape, and the green comes in, 